Hello, this is Alan McNabb with Image Building Web Design, and uh, uh, we have in this tutorial uh, we're using the Adapt uh, Responsive Theme, and it comes with a slider on the front page, but we're using a different slider in our interior pages. We're using the Meta Slider, which is a responsive slider and is very easy to use and works very well. So let me show you what we have here. Uh, with the plugins, of course, you just install the uh, Meta Slider uh, as you would any other plugin. Of course, activate that, and it will put a, uh, 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 a Meta Slider. And we're using Light here, not the paid version. But we're using the free version for this project, and we just click on that, and uh, then then you have um, what you see here. We've already got four sliders set up. If we want to set another one up, we just push, uh, click on the plus, and uh, we could call this slider anything we wanted to call it, and we could uh, add new slides right here, and this will take us to our media library. We could add any of them here, or of course upload uh, slides. And uh, the uh, really neat thing about this is you can choose multiple. Uh, slides uh, and uh, say add to slider, it'll add all of them at one time uh, so it makes it very quick to do that. So I'm going to cancel out of here. Of course at the end you just save save your uh, save uh, your slider right there and uh, or if you want to delete it just delete it uh, right there. Alright so uh, I'm not going to save that. Uh, we've got um, Let me delete that one right there. Okay, we've got four sliders here. I'm just going to show you around on that just a little bit. Um, we can hover over any of these images if we wanted to delete a single image and just click on the X and it would delete uh, this image and of course the text that goes with it. This text appears at the bottom of the uh, uh, bottom of the slider. Uh, let me go over there to one of those so you can see that. And uh, you see the slider here and the text that is below it, uh, this text is right here. Um, you can also put a URL here if you want, uh, when someone clicks on the image, if you want it to go to a page and select whether or not when they click on that, if it opens a new window or just uh, stays with the same window. Uh, the options over here are pretty standard. We're using the Nevo slider, we're using the fade effect and default. Uh, we've got our delay here and our animation speed set. And um, here we'll talk about the short code in just a moment. Also what's very good about this, uh, you can take and you can move your images around. If you want to move one to the top, one to the bottom, you can take the top one, drag it all the way to the bottom if you wanted to, uh, which makes it really, uh, really, uh, really uh, neat to do that. Um, again, just come down here delete slider if we wanted to delete this slider, and of course we do not. All right, so let me talk, um, let me talk just a little bit about the uh, short code, and the short code is right here, and it works like all the other short codes with uh, WordPress. I just highlighted it, I copied it, and I just go to the page where I want this slider to appear. Uh, this one is bedrooms and bathrooms for this website and uh, I just go to that page. Let's go to pages here and bedrooms and bathrooms and you see that the, the uh, short code is just pasted right uh, right there and of course uh, any of the text we want uh, on that page and uh, that's really uh, that's really all it takes right there. Uh, just after you paste that in there of course update your page and then just go and, and check your page. I'll do that. Go to the home. Go to bedrooms and bathrooms. There's our slider, which was put there with the short code, and this is the text that's on the page uh, below that. All right, that does it for uh, this tutorial. Uh, again, the Meta Slider is a great, uh, it's a great uh, responsive slider. Very easy to use. Um, it's very easy to make changes with it and uh, just uh, a really good plug-in. So I got one more tutorial coming up and that's using a widget that we have some images on the right hand side and we'll do that in just a moment then we'll be done for today. Thanks for being with us today.